Hey there, guys, and welcome back to my playthrough of Control. Uh, last time we started uh, the DLC, uh, the foundation for the Control, we did end up finishing the game, and we started the foundation, uh, where we actually learn quite a bit of the history of the oldest house, uh, its former members, like the older members from like the 1960s. Uh, and we actually learn quite a bit about the, well, not a lot, but a little bit about the board as well. Um, and we are tasked with rebuilding this, uh, I don't know what you call it, this, this monument uh, that's been broken apart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we are required to rebuild four different focal points, I guess nails they're called. Uh, we've done three of them. And uh, we're on our way to do the fourth and hopefully complete, um, rebuild this whole thing and you know, fix the problem. Um, basically what the problem is like this thing being broken is what's causing the astral plane to collide with our own dimension, with our own reality. Not that anyone cares. No, no one cares. So as I said, we have one more to do and it looks like we have to go down that way. Research site gamma. So we could probably port there, but there are still some uh, some areas we haven't checked out yet that are question marked. Yo, hi. Oh, I thought you had a question. Hope everyone's doing great. Um, I have been kind of thinking about this uh, mission quite a bit, like this area. Because it seems to answer, well, attempts to answer a lot of the questions that we had. No, this is definitely not where we want to be. Or is it? Can we get up there? Maybe this is where we're supposed to be. Yeah, see, like, the astral plane is colliding with our own reality and it's messing it up. Okay, I guess we are doing this the long way. Whoa, what the fuck? Really? Where's the other one? There he is. What is he doing? Yeah, you fall down. Oh no! Oh, that was so close. Oh fuck, right off. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, you know what? I don't feel bad staying over here and like cheating. Cause I'm not how the fuck do you how the how do you expect me to fight with those small platforms? Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I pressed the Anyone else? Because that was really not cool. Alright. So how do we get over there? That's the big question. I guess we have, kind of have to go the long way. So we can't go to the left yet. Uh, we just have to uh, keep going straight. Research site Delta. We want Gamma, don't we? Yeah, we do want Gamma. I know, Jesse, I know. So 
So we also got the ability to break the rocks, or crystals rather, and um, form the crystals, I guess. Although for some reason the board was hesitant to give both to us. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm playing it very fast and loose today. I'm playing it very recklessly today, I know. I, I don't know why. Okay. So... I think that's where we need to go, yeah. So there's just a little... little side area. Nice, nice. You know what's funny? The dark area seems all the much darker because of the light shining in my face. Oh, that's some... Oh, great. Oh, hi. fight each other. Fight that fuck. Hey. That was not very nice. Thanks for killing him, though. Oh, what's going on? Oh. Asshole. What are you waiting for? Come on. Yeah, dodge that, bitch. Okay. Looks like there are no collectibles in this area. I really feel like I've been in this area before. I don't know, maybe they're all just blending together in my head. I remember this. 
I don't know, whatever. Whatever. Oh, do I have to go up there? So this is a control point. Okay, I have been here before. Okay, this is gonna be fun. Okay, never mind. Not as bad as I thought. Chasm. What? We found the chasm, guys. Chasm to what? Oh, to death, I guess. Where are we? Okay, that that potentially did something. That opened that up. Oh, I don't know if I want to go in there. Hey, look at that bones. Some big lizard. Maybe a dinosaur. Who knows? VHS tape supplement. This item's creation is a source of much research and debate. It was a product of the Bureau's first attempts to film blank, entity A001, during Operation Shallow Tide. An agent was able to conceal themselves in, a frequent, in an area frequented by Ati, at which point they began filming. The agent reported that the video camera showed no signs of disturbance during the filming. Later, when reviewing the footage, the research staff became mesmerized by its altered effect. Measures were being taken, and altered evaluation began. Never before have Bureau personnel been so closely involved with the creation of an altered item. The experiment was quickly replicated, though not with the same results. The footage was simply useless in every subsequent attempt. This event spawned a great debate as to whether altered items are created by paranatural entities, intentionally or otherwise. Similar experiments were prohibited soon after. See the Ash Act for details. As a creation of altered materials was deemed an action the Bureau should not engage in. Makes sense. Yeah, this was back in 1978. Oh. oh my god, it's dark. Um... All right. Oh, I do not like how your eyes look there, Jesse. Okay, so then what I'm led to believe is something escaped. Uh, okay. Maybe I shouldn't have put that in. Okay, well, I guess we can return here afterwards. There is a... There's a save point right on the other side. Like right down there. That is not what I was expecting. Okay, so we did not need to come up here. That is what I'm gathering from this. stuff I cannot all right give me a moment guys okay and we'll just pick that up I guess I hope so yeah guess we're heading the research site gamma
Hmm. Okay, so we want to go this way. Is that way blocked off? Oh, there's a thing over there that we can get a... Might as well. That must have hurt. Okay, so go this way. All right? Yeah. Oh, hi, guys. Go ahead, find the other guy. Get him. Second boy. Yeah, you can go find the other guy too. Go on. That was fun. Oh, jeez. Did he blow up? I think he blew it up. Okay, so I think this is the way I initially came. cavern. Yeah, I've heard that one before. But where is a deep cavern? Is it in there? It looks like it's in there. Yeah. Okay. Alright. I can dig it. He's got in. Boom. Boom. The nail. Pile of smoking rubble. Marshall blew up the nail? What the hell was she thinking? Maybe she wasn't. Can I... Can I? Can I watch the whole thing? Please. Out of options. The hiss got in. The foundation is overrun. I was out of time and out of options. I took all the C4 I could get my hands on and strapped it to the nail. Boom. A desperate move. But it's better off in pieces than in enemy hands. Trench wouldn't be thrilled. He always said how vital the nail was. How it was the Bureau's duty to protect it. Bullshit. Those years spent in the director's chair warped his priorities. In the end, he valued order over people. The advice of invisible voices over that of old friends. He lost sight of who he was. The board made sure of that. But I did my duty. The hiss can't corrupt a pile of smoking rubble. My last act as head of operations. I'm done. At least I could take those bastards down with me. So I wonder if that's actually a sign of things to come for for us as well, for Jesse. Um, you know, with Trent, Trench kind of um, being... 
Oh, fuck me. I don't know if I can break it. No, I can't. I was hoping with like my new bullets I'd be able to take it down. Oh, for fuck's sake, guys. Really? Now fight each other. Do that. I'm really sorry about the old flashing lights, guys. are all dead. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, like I was saying, I'm wondering if it's a sign of things to come for us. Like, the way French kind of started losing his mind. Um, with the... Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Am I supposed to go there? Um, and, uh, like, is Jesse going to start losing her, her own sense of, um, I guess, individuality and just become like a, a pawn for the board? Again, we don't, we don't know anything about the board. We don't know what their motivations are, why they're doing what they're doing. Are these look like they have some importance? Um, can we actually get up there another way? No, we have to fly, I guess. Eh, could. Oh, we're going up there. Okay. This is Director Faden. Sure. Send a ranger to my position. Why not? Why not? Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Nice. Oh, I thought you were one of my guys. Son of a fuck, where are you? Oh shit.
Yeah, buddy. Oh, really? You don't fuck with the director. Okay. Um, yeah, I keep getting interrupted. I don't even, I completely forgot what I was saying. Something about the board and Jesse and all that. Okay, was there, where am I going here? Okay, so behind me is where I need to go. What was up here then? Alright, you know what? I'm going to uh, raise the brightness. Maybe it's a 60. Oh my god, I can finally see in here. Pretty much. I mean, it's a little bit washed out, but... At least I can fucking see. This, this cave must be hot as fuck if those guys just keep on going all the time. Okay, here we go. All right, this is the last one. It's the last one. Uh, and then the cave bleed from there. Okay. We get everything else. Yeah. The rest of the area is all... Is all uncovered. believe Marshall's brilliant plan was to blow up the nail. <laughs> and she thought I wasn't ready. Oh, fuck. God, these this is so fucking annoying.
fucking god. Oh, that took a hell of a long, lot longer than it needed to. I forgot what the fucking buttons are. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I just switched my... The, the pierce to charge. I figured, like, the grenades would just make it blow up all faster. Thank fucking lord. Jesus Christ. There. Easy as pie. Fuck. But that's the last one. I, I fixed it, didn't I? Uh... What's breaking? Oh shit. Can I can I leave now? Oh, it's over here. Oh, I'm creating a bridge. I have no idea what's going on. Oh, thank God. What the hell was all that? Things should be better now, not worse. Emily will know. I hope. Will she? Will she, though? Yeah, pro tip. If you guys ever play this game and get to that part, just use the fucking uh, the grenade one. Oh, man. Oh, no, wait. I know where I am. Right, I need to go there. Okay. I'm so fucking frustrated with that part. I'm so sorry, guys. Alright. Emily! I think I broke the universe. I need help. Alright, first off, before we talk to her, let's spend these points. What should I continue to upgrade? Um, I think we're okay with levitation. The seas. Maybe we can upgrade the seas some more. Shield rush. While holding shield, use a bait to rush at enemies and knock them back. Sure, why not? Let's try it. Ooh, nice. Alright, I doubt we'll really use them much, but... Sure. Emily! I broke the universe! What did you do? What is causing these tremors? I thought you could tell me! I completed the four rituals just like the board told me to. The astral bleed should have stopped. Look, it has stopped. The nail is repaired. But we have a new problem. My analysis of the nail indicates that it is literally a piece of the astral plane. Or possibly a vessel containing the astral plane. Or both. Either way, right now both dimensions are vibrating at completely incompatible frequencies. The spatial friction they are generating is incalculable. English? It's going to destroy both planes. I messed this all up. Maybe Marshall was right to destroy the nail. I should have left it in pieces. No, then the astral plane would still be leaking in. Sometimes there's no right answer, Jesse. We need more information. No. I need to fix this now. I'll just... I'll figure something out. Why is everyone's head shaking we like really make a plan? Like they're freaking the out. The tremors are originating from directly below us, but we don't know what Perfect. I'll head down and take care of whatever's going on. Just do what you can from here. Jesse, you can't just I have to, Emily. I'm the director. This is on me. It's all on me. 
Reach the butt. Oh, hello. I told you we were gonna die down here. Bureau researchers do not panic, Dr. Saba. Keep monitoring those tremors and get me some actionable data. Do you want to die down here, huh? Do you? I'll do it. I'll shoot right in the eye, bro. Yeah, I thought not. Alright. Um. Geronimo. I hope I know what I'm doing. That was just the top of the nail? How much deeper does the foundation go? I mean, yeah, obviously it was the top of the nail. Or the bottom, depending on which way you look at it. Entering day plus 118. I have changed. Though it's hard to know how or why. I no longer need tools to detect the house's veins, to hear it breathe. I can feel its blood churning beneath my bare feet. I have added my own illustrations to the walls, trying to solve some mystery that the oldest house whispers to me. I have to avoid the it as I do so. They haunt me. I don't blame them. They're just following the pillar's orders. Even poor Adam doesn't seem to recognize me anymore. I've spent a long time contemplating the etchings of the tree and its roots. Did you know this city used to be a forest? I wonder if our oldest house wore a different face back then. Or if it was always here. A 21st century office building since time immemorial. Can a place know the future? Can it change its skin? Can it wander? I always thought the esoteric world was my father's, not mine. But here, in this sacred place, I finally understand his devotion and his awe. Hmm. Are we going to be fighting a version of Ash down here? Did he not die? Unmapped area. Lovely. The crystals are growing like crazy here. It's almost like they're trying to stop me. blew up the nail. The board attacked her. I don't fucking like it. So Marshall came all the way down here? Wait, what do we got down here? Oh my god, there's so much stuff. Astral Spring. Of course, all the way at the bottom. Astral Spikes are metastructural entities found in the Astral Plane. Their existence was confirmed when a single spike traveled into our dimension through the mind of an astronaut. See report blank for details, re-Agent Gibson. Astral spikes seem to exist beyond our dimension's physical laws. They do not resemble any living creature or animate object we have yet encountered. They are even dissimilar to astral copies, despite the fact they both originate from the astral plane. The spikes are immensely dangerous, emitting a wavelength that disrupts all organic and inorganic matter in their immediate vicinity with catastrophic results. Discerning the nature of this wavelength has been difficult for obvious reasons, but the parakinesiology department continues to investigate. Okay. How did a report from Emily Pope end up all the way down here? Uh, this is basically, yeah. Uh, oh, we're missing a log.
I have a feeling this is not the board. I have a feeling this is not the board that we're talking to. I tried to get out after the detonation, but the astral spike came out of nowhere. I escaped, but my HRA was damaged. I'd bet a year's salary the board sent it. We never did see eye to eye. They have too much control over Trench, the Bureau, the House. They make themselves part of every important process. Nothing a little C4 can't fix. Two birds, one bomb. Christ, what a mess. But I stopped the hiss. I did it. If Faden did her part, then the Bureau is safe. Until the next thing. Jesse has good reason to hate the Bureau. But that could be what we need right now. She won't follow the same path. Won't fall into the same traps. She'll lead her way. So, Director Faden, here's my last lesson. You can't save everybody. Damn, we're gonna try though. God, it's still so dark. How deep are we going, man? Oh my god, there's a hiss. What is that? I need a ranger sent to oh. this location stat. Nobody else hears the house. Nice to see a director out in the field. Lies. We were shown the way inside so we could help. But all we've done is fall victim to the same parasite. I should have seen the web earlier. The strands between Northmore, the pillar, the gun, the id. What hope did we have? Thrown into this conflict beyond our comprehension. I've decided to rejoin the Bureau in the upper levels. To end my long absence spent in the Foundation. Northmore will be angry at me for disobeying him. That's just his way. But I don't care. I need to remain in the oldest house to help however I can. I doubt I can steer the Bureau back on the right course. But I have to try. How did I go so long without a purpose? Without devotion? I can hardly remember how it felt. I realize how grateful I am to Father for setting me on this path. I wish I could tell him that. Well, Ash. I don't know what to say. Holy shit. Ready, Ranger? It's Marshall. Marshall? You're... alive. Soon you will no longer recognize us, or yourself, or him, or her, or them. Family is dead. The walls are broken. She's but possessed by the hiss. Yellow and red in the eye. God damn it. Inverted is made of right. You fuckers take everything. I am not letting you take this. You've always been the new you. You want this to be true. Oh, 
She is strong as fuck, man. There we go. Where is she? Oh shit, I'm almost dead. Oh fuck. Damn it. Oh. Thought it was gonna fall. That's enough out of you, bro. That is enough. Assistant sent champion. Endure! Fuck. I don't know why I'm going up so close against her. Maybe because I'm an idiot? I'm definitely an idiot. That was my own stupidity. I will definitely own up to that. Where are you? Oh, hi. Come on! God. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Come on, come on. The problem is I can't tell where she is half the time. Sorry, I need help, Marshall. Oh. The nail is 
corrupted. That explains why the board wasn't answering what's causing the quakes. Marshall came down here to stop this. I should have been with her. I could have saved her. But I can still save everyone else. I need a minute. Seriously. Oh, I'll be sure to. Let's play it smart. They don't need to know I'm on to them. Not yet, anyway. Yeah, seriously, fuck you too. Yeah, the biggest problem with that fight was everything was red. And I, I it was intentionally meant to be that way. I couldn't see shit. Like, I couldn't see where uh, Marshall was half the time. Uh, I'm assuming this is where I need to go. Oh, fuck. The nail is secure. The hiss can't touch it. I can't undo the astral bleeding in the foundation, but at least it stopped. Along with the seismic activity. You did it, Jesse. Did you ever find Marshall? I did. She's gone. She died thinking she'd save the Bureau. Not a bad way to go. I wasn't ready for this crisis. I didn't even see it coming. But I promise I'll be ready for the next one. I mean, what good is a director who can't hold her bureau together? The Foundation. Interesting. So overall, the DLC wasn't bad. Um, I thought I know how to handle things now that I'm the director. Clearly, it's not that simple. I need to choose a direction for the Bureau. It should be one that serves our goals, not the board's. Whatever those are, I need to lead my way. Oh, I can move. So first thing to note, it's interesting that the nail has like um, a, a, a upside down triangle at the at the top of it, making it seem like the board's kind of cut out of it. I don't know if that's intentionally meant. Well, obviously the design is intentional, but I wonder if that's what it's supposed to signify. Um. Yeah. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Okay, so it looks like we're done with the missions. Multimedia. What have we what do we miss? Oh, we got that last bit, the purpose, yeah. So we're missing log number 6. Hotline, let's see that Last hotline. Departure. Mm -hmm. 
Dylan. Does Pope have anything to say here? Let's talk with her. Now that this nail business is handled, I should probably be getting back to executive. But maybe I'll keep poking around. Just for a little bit. Has the nail been doing anything since we restored it? Define anything. Anything unusual? Define unusual? Emily. Sorry, but the answer is a whopping yes. Now that it's whole, the nail is emitting a constant field of, well, think of it like low-level radiation. It seems to suppress any biological matter it encounters. This explains why nothing grows here and why the Bureau had to abandon the area. Prolonged exposure would certainly begin affecting neural processes. Wait. Was the field created when I cleansed the nail? I considered that, but the nail's readings are quite different from the ones I recorded at the cleanse control points. I think the nail's field is purely of its own making. In fact, I think it would passively prevent any his corruption, like the HRAs do. Which makes me wonder what actually occurred when you cleansed the nail. I've been wondering about that myself. Did the board let the Hiss corrupt the nail? Yeah, did I was about to say. To it? If so, why? Why did they let it get corrupted in the first place? Like, if a nail is has a natural emitter like we have now with Polaris, how did it get corrupted in the first place? What do you know about Director Northmore? Well, uh, he was Director Trench's predecessor, and Northmore is famous for being the first board-appointed director. See, before he found the oldest house, directors were picked by committees of old men in suits, drinking cognac and smoking cigars or whatever. You know, standard, uninteresting methods. I think the word you're looking for is bureaucratic. Or antiquated. Regardless, Northmore was eventually forced to... Well, <laughs> we don't need to go into that. Strangely, the only two board-appointed directors left the position under uh, unusual circumstances. If the board appoints a director, then how do they retire them? I doubt they go out and buy you a gold watch. Sorry, Jesse, I, I didn't mean to imply that... Don't worry. If anyone's getting shown the door, it's them. What do you know about an entity named Former? I can't say I've heard of it. You got any details for me? Well, imagine a one-eyed bug thing. I think it was a part of the board, but then something happened and now it's... separate? Interesting. See, I always wondered if the board was some sort of entity or group or conglomerate of linked consciousnesses, but this supports the group theory. Although I could have undergone some sort of corporeal exile. Too many unknowns to form a working hypothesis yet, but I can prioritize this matter in future astral dives if you think it's important. Fortune favors the prepared. Do it. I'm gonna keep looking around. I wish I could go with you, but I still need 30 hours of training before I can do field work. We'll work on that. Okay. So, too many questions going in my mind right now, just based on the last like 10 minutes alone. Um, okay, so I was saying before, the DLC, interesting. I like what they're uh, trying to portray, you know, giving you a backstory like the, uh, the oldest house, um, the previous um, staff, you know, the head of research, Ash, and his father who basically was replaced by uh was replaced by Northmore who was officially appointed director by the board ash is not ash is wary of the board he's not even on actually it's I, it's not clear if he was aware of the board or not no he is aware but he doesn't like the board because who the fuck are they we still don't know who they are who is the former 
Why did they break apart? What does the board have to do with any of this? The oldest house. Did they create it? It's so many fucking questions. What do we have to do with any of this? The nail, how did it get corrupted if it's incorruptible? Too many fucking questions, man. Okay, so that does it that pretty much does it for the story-based DLC, I believe. Uh old friends, mold removal, what a mess, shoom, return to sender. Mr. Tomasi, there's that. So we still have quite a bit of the side quest to go on. Um so while we're down here, might as well finish finding the ID cards. We have looks like two more to find. I'm not gonna say where they are. They're in the warehouse, apparently. Uh, is everything okay out there, Director? Everything's perfect. So we got more ability points. Um let's do let's do melee. I haven't upgraded melee in a while. And our melee is pretty weak. Wow, 50%. Okay. Uh, astral constructs. You know, maybe we could start building more stuff. Upgrade surge. Just to kind of, again, get rid of all this stuff here. I think we got a lot of tokens. Doesn't even say how many we have, but... Can we find out how many we have, actually? Uh, that button. We have 37 tokens. We got tons. We don't need to make any. Wait a second. Oh, never mind. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so... Guess I'll have to go around and start f looking for these uh, these cards. Seriously? Why would it another one of those ID cards? Security chief. I wonder. We'll keep smart around after, or charge uh, around after all. So I wonder if that means I can go. No, I can't. So I'm missing level four, and I did pass a level four. Oh, what do I get there? Oh, well, it's broken, eh? All right, yeah. Um, but what did that do?
Yeah, so there is a floor that I'm missing, level four. Now if I go back down, we can clearly see here. Oh, you could stop the elevator. I was not aware of that. Well, a lot of good it does me. Um, hmm. Well, I can't even jump. I can't do anything. Is there any way there? Maybe I need to go in there. Yeah, it looks like it. Meteor Hill Supplement. Note, per archival mandates 8.8, .8, this document has been edited to meet current administrative standards. Certain terminology may be out of date. The retrieved material was subjected to Failstrom's array, the Configuration 74-B, but the tests were halted as a matter began to physically elude the equipment. Attempts to constrain the element were made, but under further stress, it, become, it became vaporous. The researchers suffered corrosive injuries prior to their deaths. The child victims at Meteor Hill recounted the material enveloping them in a pleasant manner upon making contact, but when discovered, they were blank and screaming. Bodily changes were perceived immediately. Deformities, loss of pigment in the skin and hair, ooh, and mental symptoms surfaced in subsequent examinations, confusion and heightened aggression. The Department of Public Knowledge and uh, Diversions gave statements claiming the incident was caused by debris from poorly made Russian satellites, which the public accepted with no complications. The children were sent to Bureau's uh, recuperation facility in blank to receive help away from society. But sadly, no... Uh, no card. But I think we finally unlocked the fourth floor. Yeah. Uh, let's check the upper warehouse. It's interesting we only encounter them on the way up, eh? I guess we were hurting ourselves. I've been up there. Hmm. 
No idea where this is going. Oh, up there. Oh, cool. Meteor Hill summary again. Oh, that was a supplement. No, to archival mandates 8.8. This document has been edited to meet current administrative standards. Certain terminology may be out of date. This paradimensional occurrence consisted of three sequential sinkholes induced by subterranean implosions, revealing foreign materials of magmatic qualities. Interesting. A local chapter of the... I say interesting a lot, I know. A local chapter of the uh, Youth Science League were participating in an archaeological dig on the hill when the event occurred. Many boys were injured in the resulting collapse. Some touched the magma directly. Bureau agents arrived at the scene seven days after the incident. Samples of the lava-like material were taken. The area was quickly sealed off from the public at our recommendation. Our aim was to ensure all remnants of the material were rendered inoffensive, but the magma descended too deeply into the earth to retrieve. Foul-smelling odors uh, were detected in the area, which were hypothesized being the dissipated elements vapor trail left at the scene. All acquired material was delivered to Washington for examination in the Bureau's on-site labs. This was in 1958. This is the third altered world event. It looks like we got our last badge. ID card was for ID card. Excavation engineer. Why did so many people abandon their cards down here? To access the elevator. What elevator? This elevator? Actually, where is this? Is that the second floor? Oh, maybe behind... Thing. God, what's the point of seizing people if they're not gonna fucking help? Look at that asshole just standing there. Ugh, of course I'm full up again. <sighs> Let's also just look at the ones we just got. No. And no. Okay, so maybe we need to get the ones back here. 
Like the elevator, sorry. From the layer of dust on this place, nobody swept here in years. Not even Ati. No way he'd stand for this. There's an elevator, which I'm sure is super safe. In a space in each terminal for an ID card. But which card goes where? So you're talking about dust. Meanwhile, there's fucking sand and rocks everywhere. Like, come on, Jesse. Uh. Okay, so I'm guessing based on what's around the desk. Oh, hello. Ash, request denied. Dr. Ash, as Chief Excavation Officer, it's my job to support the research team. So I got you to your machine for that ridiculous sand research project. However, it's also my responsibility to ensure the safety of my crew. Do you know how many trips it took to get an entire bulldozer down here piece by piece? And do you know how many of my guys were lost in these trips? Here's a hint. Too fucking many. Which brings me to my point. I'm writing you today because of the request because this request form just landed on my desk. Apparently, you want a lightweight one or two man military grade helicopter for the purpose of surveying the vast expanse of columns by air. I bet you didn't even stop to wonder how much time, money, effort and blood this toy would cost us. Well, no, sir. I am sorry, but I will not subject my men to another month of marching through that death trap upstairs. For Christ's sake, these people have families. Not that they ever get to see them anymore. Request denied. Lewis McNary. You know what's always interesting? Like, is that how people... Would you ever really read a document that was like that? Because people don't write how they talk, right? Okay, so I'm guessing... Based on what's around that area... Yeah, so this is, what, geological stuff? So I'm going to guess uh, ex Chief Excavation Engineer. This one, uh, Designer, I guess? What do we have? At a research, a Senior Cartographer, I would guess. This is military equipment. So that'll be security. Security chief. Um the fuck does that even say? Is that backwards? That literally looks like it's backwards. Emergency. I'm gonna guess this is the physicist. And I would think this would be research. I guess. It worked. Hey, look at that. Just have to I'm smart, guys. That goes who knows how far down. Let's go to the basement lab. a lot to go through. Okay. Let's see what gets highlighted. Something over there. Two somethings. Alright, we'll leave that valve alone for now. Leave that valve alone. What a fantastic picture. they need such a heavy door down here okay before we open that door I'm gonna go turn that valve maybe it's a secret area it unlocks a secret area
Okay. Is there now another valve I need to turn? Sorry. Oh, so, oh, sorry. Sorry, guys. Sorry. My bad. My bad. Okay. What, 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 did, what did that do? It's something. I think. Jesus. Oh, hi. Hi, Professor Gibbs. Oh, jeez. You mine now. Gee, I wonder if the hiss are down here too. This looks like the nail, only mini. Mini nail. A document. Is this in some kind of code? I can't read a word of it. I should take this back to Emily and. Northmore final warning to Dr. Theodore Ash Jr. As director of the Federal Bureau of Control and chosen representative, liaison benefactor of the Greater Authority of the Board, I demand your immediate withdrawal from the Foundation. Prime memos issued broadly to Foundation staff called for swift reassignment of all personnel to the upper levels of the House. All staff complied except you. This demonstrates a lack of respect for my house, or sorry, for my office and the Board itself. This is their house, and we are their guests. We should conduct ourselves accordingly. Normally, such insubordination would be grounds for dismissal, but out of respect for your late father, consider this my final warning. The board and director Ash chose me as successor to the office, and no amount of petulance will change that. Indeed, your actions seem to suggest you know better than myself, and by extension, better than the board. Permit me to assure you, this is not possible. Sincerely, Director Broderick Northmore. Tell her I got into Ash's secret lab. Anything on top of it? I'm the king of the world, guys. Woo! Oh, man, that's bright. Okay. Um, I still want to know what that valve did. I really want to know. Let's go. That's one, I guess. Or first floor. I wonder.
I vaguely remember seeing a pipe. Um, around one of these elevators. I don't know if I'm just pulling that out of my ass or not. Is that a break of a wall? Oh, I was right. I was wrong. Blowing them up working. I wonder if that'll work. So that's the secret to those nodes. I will be honest, I looked it up. Because it was driving me fucking crazy. Because shooting them wasn't obviously working. So you have to melee them. And... Something to do with those cats. Um, I don't know what it's for. I think it's another side... Sorry, side mission. But I have no idea. I didn't look that far ahead. Um. Nope. You want to fucking aim, maybe? God, Jesse.
How did you hit me? Uh, I pressed the wrong fucking... Sorry, that shit just annoys me. Um, okay, so I have to go back down. Just coming up here was pointless. Okay, regardless. That's actually the first thing I've had to look up. Um, but I'll be honest, I would never have gotten meleeing them. Did that unlock a new mission for us? No, it didn't. Take Dr. Ash's nose to boat. Yeah, we'll do that. All right, Pope, what you got for me? I found Ash's secret lab. Excellent. Please tell me everything. Spare no details. Uh, well, there was another cave. The walls were covered in paintings of eyeballs. The research seemed dedicated to studying a kind of... smaller version of the nail. It looked like the same material as the one up here, but just a different shape. Well, are you sure you didn't see any functioning prototypes? Or at least some schematics. I mean, Dr. Ash was a very accomplished engineer. You know, you can go check no, yourself. Sorry. I did find this handwritten note. Wow. I had terrible handwriting. Never meet your heroes, right? That looks like a transcribed conversation between Ash and someone named F. Former? Oh, oh this is juicy. This will take me days to parse out. Maybe weeks. Have you ever thought about taking a vacation, Emily? Are you kidding? This is my vacation, Jesse. So that's all we're gonna get out of that? If you're not gonna listen to me, then you better go figure out how to stop this. There's no telling what could happen if the vibrations escalate. Oh, uh, we did stop it. I'm gonna... We did stop it, Emily. Um, okay. So that's done, I think. Yeah. Um. One thing I actually wanted to double check. Ooh, abilities. Um, uh, yeah, just keep going melee, I guess. Spent other ability points. Very nice. Um, I wanted to double check... Um, that valve. I forgot to check the basement area. Let's see if there was a valve there. It's got to lead somewhere. So where are we in relative to this? We are facing up here. So right above the warehouse, facing north. Okay. Let's head back up. See if there we could find the other... Let's find where the pipe is. So it was around here. Here. 
Come on. this area. Maybe one of those valves leads to... Uh, maybe that valve leads over here somewhere? No? Maybe the water? Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, so that's what that did. So the valve was also for the this fucking whatever, the cat things. <clears throat> okay, you know what? I think we should get back to the oldest house. Maybe I could pick up this fucking side quest for these cats. Because I don't know how many there are. Um, okay, so, let's do, might as well, uh, do Tomasi, the containment sector. Actually, before that, let's go see how Ati is doing. Maintenance. Uh, was it ventilation we went to? No. Was this it? Coolant pumps up in the upper level? No, it wouldn't have been upper level. Upper level is how we got to the Black Rock Quarry, I think. Yeah, this doesn't look right. Uh, fuck. Pretty sure it was ventilation. Yes. No, yes. Oh, Ati, I missed you, buddy. Please tell me you're here. Ati's still gone. I get the feeling he had more of an agenda than he let on. Did he already get what he was here for? That's a shame. He never even left us any uh, any extra missions. Well, it's a good thing we did them. Alright. Guess we'll start doing the missions proper so we want to go to containment and around the turntable seal threshold uh, so we still haven't uh, gotten that left area to the turntable uh, I think we want a transit corridor yeah I think that led to the turntable <laughs> Is 
way, right? Yeah. Oh, lovely. That thing's here. Uh, what the fuck is that? Sterling AWE. Oh, hey. We found Tomasi. Come on. His armor regenerates. Alright. So we're gonna want to change to Pierce. I see how it is. I see how it is. Seriously? Cause let's add let's add to this cluster fuck, why don't we? Fucking hit me. Oh, for fuck's sake.
forget, you son of a bitch. There. I guess the Bureau should start looking for a new head of communications. I'm really sorry, guys. I... I needed a moment. I... Oh. Oh my god. Once you figure out the pattern, it's not too bad. But the problem is, is that he does so much fucking damage. Um, it's insane. And there's... I know there's, like, stuff to hide behind all, like, all around you. But, like, there's obstacles. Like, if you're going backward, like, you're, you're stuck on the fucking table. You're stuck on the chairs. You know what I mean? Terrible environment. Especially in a game where, like, everything you fucking touch, like, collapses. Like, physics runs rampant. It's amazing how much shit is, like, bolted to the ground sometimes. You know what I mean? Like these tables. Like I should be. Able, I've knocked over water coolers, but the table is fucking. You know, I've knocked over file cabinets. Like it, it's ridiculous sometimes. Just no consistency. Anyways, moving on. Sterling AWE 46. A paranatural object appeared in a field outside the town of Sterling, Colorado, near a billboard advertising blank. No civilians were injured, though a family dog has been reported as missing since the event. I don't know why they put the image of, like, the Goosebumps intro, the original Goosebumps intro in my head. Like, the dog on the fucking billboard where, like, the cloud passes by, the G passes by, and its eyes grow, like, yellow. Uh, local authorities arrived on the scene and began issuing orders over a monitored line of communication using several watchwords flagged by the Bureau, including blank. Bureau agents from the regional office were dispatched and arrived two hours after local police. The situation was contained and analysis began. Bureau research staff arrived the next day and examined the object. After blank days of evaluation, the object was lifted into an enclosed truck with built-in black rock panels and relocated to Bureau headquarters via the subway transit system leading into the oldest house. There's a subway transit system that leads into the oldest house? How does that even work? Uh, okay, speak with Emily. So I guess Emily's back in the boardroom? The executive boardroom? More copyrighted music we can't listen to. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, there's a room up there. Hello? Anything in here? Anything of value? Anything of note? Sterling supplement. Local witnesses report a bright flash in the field at approximately blank. No noise accompanied the light. Authorities had assumed the object fell from the sky, but our examination found the object actually manifested there, vaporizing the soil around it in an intense spherical blank, which possibly explains the light scene from the town. The object is a hollow sphere made of a stone-like material. Structural analysis of the material does not blank on record. The sphere is a broken portion, as if something blank from the object. The object has been inactive since arriving at the Bureau. The communications department officially stated to the press that the object was a small meteor, while also using the America Overnight Program to blank. See episode 92. Note, this AWE will be studied in the containment sector until the spherical object is deemed safe to be transferred to the investigation sector. So I guess that's the sphere they're talking about, eh? Is this the uh, America Tent Overnight? Yes, it is. To America Overnight, now in our 29th year, lifting the veil between fiction and reality. 29 years, wow. I've been getting a lot of calls about this meteor in Sterling, Colorado. There were reports of a large spherical container that crash landed in a field outside town. Some government people reportedly took it away. 
Now, we happen to broadcast from Colorado, and Sterling isn't far. I drove down myself to check it out with members of the America Overnight team. I don't need to tell you, it wasn't long before we found pieces of metal debris scattered in a field. Listeners, this is yet another instance of an unidentified flying object, or UFO, entering our airspace and crashing. That the government took away the evidence under cover of darkness only compounds the fact that these are more than likely visitors from beyond our planet, or dare I say, solar system. Head on over to our website to see pictures of the spacecraft pieces we uncovered. And while you're doing that, our sponsors would like your ear. America Overnight, we'll be right back. I'd like to hear the sponsor. Who are they? What do they do? Who is your daddy and what does he do? Who is your sponsor and what do they want? Okay, nothing up here that we need. Oh, it's flat at the top. That is... Interesting. I got a remote dock, guys. You're really going to make me go all the way around for that, really. I, I can't even get it. What is that? Is that just a health thing? I think it's just a health thing. Yeah. Anything back here? Nope. Alright. Uh, I guess we figured out this area. Uh, whoops. So there we go. Now we gotta go talk to Emily. Maybe even check on our brother. Oh, Emily. Emmy Kins. So... That actually reminded me of seeing the Polaris thing. Um, I actually watched a video uh, by another YouTuber, Max Durant, um, who basically spoke about like who Polaris is, um, and he actually got the inspiration from another channel, um, Gaming University, which is also really good. Um, they actually both uh, spoke on the matter of who Polaris potentially is. Um, it's really interesting. Check it out. Like, uh, they, they surmise that, uh, based on the evidence that's been presented in the game, um, that it has to do with, uh, it's part of Jesse's psyche. Cause the game does make mention to quite, uh, quite a bit to, to Young, Carl Young, the, uh, psychologist and the, the different types of personalities, like the, the personas that people have. Um, and, uh, watch the video. They, they, they s express it better. They, they elaborate on it more. Um, but th again, they, they surmise that, um, Polaris is actually, uh, part of, uh, Jesse's psyche that especially near the end after like a, when the hiss tried to control Jesse and then. You know, she goes to the um, the motel in her mind, the uh, overview, the ocean view motel in her mind, and then she opens the door and there's like Jesse like floating in the middle of like the the Mandela. I keep calling it the Shimmer, but it it looks like a Mandela. Uh, that's basically her awakening to her. Uh, she's been enlightened at that point, basically, and that's why she is able to keep the hiss out because she's enlightened. So, 
again, very, very interesting. They even make mention to um, Thomas Zane from Alan Wake. Um, they have some uh, theories on that as well. I'm, excuse me, I'm, I don't agree with them as much on that, but it is interesting. They do make pretty good cases for it. But, oh, let's see what Emily has to say. I took care of the Tomasi problem. Sorry, I forget he was a co-worker. Don't apologize. That wasn't the real Tomasi. He died when the hiss got him. You're right. I just didn't want to be insensitive. Sentimentality is a weakness in situations like these, Jesse. That's Bureau 101. I don't think Emily's in danger of being called sentimental. Alrighty. Well, I've got a bureau to run. See you soon. Yes, ma'am, Director Faden. Please, Emily. Not even as a joke. See you soon. For a second, I thought she was going to be like, where the fuck is... Huge! He sacrificed her brother's soul to see him. Uh, is he in there? I forget where he was. He wasn't in here, was he? We got it. We're safe. Wow, we actually have these being used. Oh, I can't float here. You mean I have to run up the stairs like a plebe? You heard the director stop the hiss, right? Sounds like she can really handle things. Finally, someone had the balls to take the fight to them. Oh, wow. His hair is growing, and he's grown a beard. Time is passing. That's cool. So I wonder if the more of the side quests we complete, we actually unlock something with Dylan. Trench is dead, along with Salvador. Hey, all the more reason to to work on it, right? Okay. Um, multimedia. That would be the America Overnight. So, um, let's do, let's do this one. I feel like this is just like a quick thing. Jesse finds chain letter. She decides to mail a few copies just to be safe. Okay. And let's just level up Bailey, because why not? So we want to go to operations. Why does it sound weird in here? She reached for that one, didn't she? Copier. This certainly feels familiar. Mail. Invest. They're all investigations. I think investigations is where I found this. So I came all the way here 
Just a photocopy? Okay. Um, observation deck, transit terminal. There we go. A W E entrance. So let's do this one first, I guess. Um, no, nope, we want to go this way. So those are bathrooms. Okay, there's the tube, I guess. It's one cent. Oh, I see. Oh, I need to find more like that. Okay, okay, I can dig it. So then the next one is in the utility corridor. to go utility corridor um yeah so we'll do turntable yeah God. Oh, get out of my fucking way. Like, look at all this shit in my fucking way. Like... some fantastic game you got. Oh, of course. There's more. Why wouldn't there be?
All right, what was I doing? It's not even the right way, is it? There's something here. I think I remember where I am. I think. Yes, I remember where I am. I did go up there. Yeah. They also needed a light. Two down, one to go. Wait a minute. Okay, weird. I thought I saw a valve that I could interact with. Uh, okay. I think it was over there? Yeah. Okay, two down, one to go, as Jesse said. Then abandoned offices. And that's three. That should take care of any bad karma or whatever. How did that first letter get in here? I wonder if I can track it to the source. Uh, maybe? Shifted offices. We want AW loading bay. Yeah. Hmm. I guess I should just follow the tube. So you're the one sending out spam mail. And that takes care of that. No more superstitious blackmail. Wait, the weapon mod? Spam mail. Weapon damage after kills, 100%. <coughs> Interesting. Exclusive to kill. Uh, spin. You know what? Why not? Just put it there. Why the fuck not? Okay. So that takes care of that. Right? Yeah. Eradicate the mold. Let's just finish that one off. So that one is in the coolant pump area. The mold's 
gotten in here too? All right. Let's get cleaning, she said, cocking her gun. Whoa, what the fuck? I don't know if the game's glitched or what. Two more. Oh, there. Yeah. All right, Ati, I got you. All right, guys, I'm actually going to call it here for today. Uh, we finally finished the DLC and are basically going uh, through the uh, the rest of the side quests. Um, I believe the next video should be the last one, unless we end up getting like 16 more side quests. But we should be able to finish up uh, in the next one. Um, hope you guys are having fun. Uh, I'm actually a little sad that uh, Control is going to be coming to an end. But in a way, I'm kind of glad for it to be over. Move, uh, finish it off and move on to the next thing you know but uh, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one take care